Hello dear readers, today in this video we will discuss Indian Geography GK MCQs. Now all the questions are very important and if you are new in this channel please do subscribe the channel and press the notification icon to get the latest update on this channel. So let's get started. First question is which is the highest peak of the Western Cards mountain range? And the correct answer is option A, that is Anamuti. Here, Anamuti is the highest peak of the Western Cards mountain range at an elevation of 2,695 meters. It is located in the Edangit district of Kerala, India. Next question, which blade lies between the Aravalli and Vitya mountains? Correct answer, option D, Malwa Plateau. Here, the Malwa Plateau is located in the central part of India between the Aravalli and the Vitya Mountains. It is a triangular shaped plateau with its apex pointing to the north. It is bounded by the Aravalli Mountains to the west, the Vitya Mountains to the east, the Jambal River to the north, and the Narmada River to the south. Next question, what is the part of the Himalayas that lies between the Tista and the Dihang River Gol? Correct answer, option B, Assam Himalayas. Here, the Tista and Dihang River are two rivers that flow through the Assam Himalayas. The Tista River flows through Sikkim and West Bengal and it joins the Barmapatra River in Assam. The Dihang River flows through Arunachal Pradesh in Assam and it joins the Brahmaputra River in Assam. Next question Which state is Odi or Otham Kamandalam located in? The correct answer is Option C Tamil Nadu. Here, Odi or Otham Kamandalam is located in the Tamil Nadu state of India. It is a hill station that is popular for its scenic beauty and its cold climate. Odi is also known as the queen of the hill stations. Next question, which Indian state has the longest coastal line? Correct answer, option D, Gujarat. Here, Gujarat is the longest coastal line in India with a length of 1,600 kilometers. It is bordered by the Arabian Sea to the west and the Gulf of Ganj to the north. The state has a number of important ports including Gandala, Mundara, and Porbender. Next question, what is the easternmost longitude of India? Correct answer. Option A, 97 degree 25 east. Here, the easternmost longitude of India is 97 degree 25 east. It is located in the town of Kebitu in the Anjawa district of Arunachal Pradesh. Kebitu is a small town located on the border of India and China. It is the most easterly point in India. Next question, where is the Corbett National Park located? And the correct answer is option T, Uttarakhand. Here, the Gorbet National Park is located in the Nidal district of Uttarakhand state, India. It is the oldest national park in India and is known for its tigers. The park is home to a variety of other animals, including leopards, elephants, rhinoceros, and deer. Next question, when did the Wildlife Protection Act come into effect? Very answer. Option B, in the year 1972. Here, the Wildlife Protection Act was implemented in India in the year 1972. It is an act of the Parliament of India enacted for protections of plants and, and animal species. Before 1972, India had only five designated national parks among other reforms. The Act established shrittle protected plant and hunting certain animal species or harvesting these species was largely outlawed. Next question. What are the two peninsular rivers that have a reef valley like path? Correct answer. Option A, that is Narmada and Tapi. Here, the two peninsular rivers that flow through are the Narmada 
and Tapi rivers. They are the two major west flowing rivers in India. The Narmada River rises in the Amarkantak hills of Madhya Pradesh and flow west through the Deccan Plateau. The Tapi rivers rises in the Satpura hills of Madhya Pradesh and flow west through Kocharat. Both rivers flow through a reef valley that is formed by the collision of the Indian and Erosian blades. Next question, which state in India does the Brahmapatra River enter first? And here regarding answer is option C, that is Arunachal Pradesh. Here the Brahmapatra rivers enter India through the state of Arunachal Pradesh. It entered the state near the village of Geling and flow southwest through the Assam Valley. The river is known as the Siang River in Arunachal Pradesh. It is joined by the Dihang and Luhit rivers in Assam and becomes known as the Brahmapatra River. So thank you for watching the videos. And if you like the videos and get something from this video, please do subscribe to the channel and press the notification icon to get the latest update on this channel. And if you need video of this video, you can join the Telegram channel, General Knowledge Insight. I will provide here. And the link will be given in the comment section. So, see you in the next video.